Hey everyone, Rodev here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to, um, well actually not a how-to video, we're going to continue the simulator series today. So, uh, today we're going to be adding rebirths into the simulator, and right now they won't, uh, give you a boost or anything, actually we might add that in this video, but, uh, the first thing I want to get done is the actual rebirth system. And for those of you who it's, uh, well, it's your first time watching the simulator series, go, um, and, uh, basically in the top right you'll see the first simulator series pop up, like in that little eye card. You stay and click on that and you can watch the first video. Um, if you want to watch it in a playlist, uh, it's a lot better to watch it in a playlist. Just go to my channel and, uh, from there go to playlists and you'll find it there. So, other than that, um, for those of you who've been following along, let's get right into it. So, inside leader stats, I'm going to scroll past all of this stuff, and down here by the strength, um, you're going to drop down, and you actually want to copy this whole uh, section of code. So, local strength down to strength.parent, and you just want to paste it in on a new line. So, the first thing we're going to change is call this uh, rebirths, and then uh, we're also going to change this to rebirths. Uh, so, basically, I'm not going to explain it, just go ahead and copy it the same way I do right here. So, as you can see, um, you know, we set all the rebirths. And rebirth.parent equals stats. So that's basically how rebirths are going to work. Now it's going to pop up in the top right. I don't even need to test that since I know it will. Um, from there, we actually make the rebirth button work here. So for that, we're going to go to frames. Um, I'm going to duplicate the upgrade storage frame. And we're going to call it rebirth. Uh, yeah, we're just going to call it rebirth. And then you click on the frame, go to properties, and make sure it's visible. For view, uh, for explore and properties, click view, and then make sure you turn them on here. And make sure you also have output. By the way, for you guys who are asking for like errors and stuff in the comments, the first thing I want you guys to do is go to your output and find the error in here. Usually it's going to tell you a line, or you can actually click on it. And after you click on it, it will uh, take you to the line. Make sure you ha have that line copied uh, properly. So real quick, um, I'm just going to quickly turn off one of my plugins. That actually messed that up. So I'm just going to go ahead and disable all of this. And uh, duplicate the frame, and we can call it Rebirth. I'm just going to uh, enable some of this stuff on again. Um, not sure what I had on before. I'll change it later. So basically, inside the rebirth frame, go to properties while you're clicking on the rebirth frame, and then click visible and make sure it's uh well visible. And then for this button right here, you want to make sure it says rebirth, and then it's gonna be like that. It's gonna say rebirth, and then right here, we're actually gonna change the text to say actually uh first change the title, so it's gonna call it uh, rebirth, and then right here, we're actually gonna change uh this. So inside the uh, local script, actually you don't need to change that, it's already working. Um, this price text, just go ahead and change it and call it um, rebirth uh, info, let's call it rebirth info. And then basically we're just going to make it a lot bigger, so for now I'm just going to insert some placeholder text. So in properties you can click on and go to text if it, there's nothing there and you can't double click on it. Um, if there's something there you can double click on it as long as you have the frame selected. If there's nothing there, you can click on it and then go to properties and add some text. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually make it a bit bigger because it's actually going to display um, a bunch of the info. So oh, there it is. That's the board I was looking for. Um, I'm actually probably going to move it up like that. Not sure what to put down here, honestly. Um, you guys can obviously just insert a text label and put like a uh, dear Discord server for the game or something like that. For me, I'm just going to leave it empty, but you guys can obviously insert stuff there. If you don't know how to insert, just duplicate the title, drag it down, make it say uh, Discord, and then paste the link if you want there. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually do that. You could just write join the Discord through the game description. Um, that should be fine. Um, so yeah, yeah, now we're just going to click on Rebirth Info and we're going to change it. Um, I'm going to say you have... Actually, we don't need to tell the player how many they have. Um, we're going to say X coins required to rebirth it's coins right or do we have it called cash in this i actually don't know looks like it's called cash i actually want that i'd rather have that be coins but it's too late um some of you might have already changed it so lucky for you guys right here this loop uh go ahead and delete this local script actually um yeah just go ahead and leave this much so yeah, we can just delete all of that while we do, and then uh, the end. So let's have all of this in here. And then uh, we need to change this, so it's going to say X coins or cash needed to rebirth, needed to reach uh, re rebirth X. We can, yeah, let's do it like that. So 
X cost, you need to reach uh, rebirth X. So rebirth, their value plus one. Yeah, we're just gonna. Uh, actually, not sure. You guys can do however you want. I'm just gonna keep them capital. X cash needed to reach rebirth X. This is just placeholder text, by the way. Um, the actual magic is gonna go in the script. So for this, what we're gonna do is local. Um, PLR equals game dot players dot local player local leader stats. I'm just gonna type ls equals player colon wait for child leader stats local rb for rebirth equals ls colon wait for child um rebirths um yeah it should be rebirths I'm actually gonna double check down here this is the one that matters this is just for this script um this one actually shows up in the top right so it's rebirths so yeah wait for child rebirths and then we're gonna do um script dot parent dot text it's script dot parent right it's just yeah script and then the parent is this and then uh dot text is in here again uh, i was showing you guys earlier how to change the text from properties so script dot parent dot text equals and then now uh make sure you follow along properly it's gonna get a bit complicated so uh script dot parent dot text equals and then i'm actually gonna go ahead and copy this and then we can start editing it so um once you have it in uh, i'm just gonna remove this x make sure you leave the quotations and then uh, I'm gonna leave that space there, and then we're gonna type dot dot, and then go behind that. We're gonna type. Okay, so that, now we actually need to make the formula for a rebirth. So uh, for a rebirth, let's say. Um, I'm actually not sure where to base it off of. Okay, so uh, basically, I've decided we're gonna do just multiplication to keep it simple. So we're just gonna do uh, rb dot value times a uh, thousand. So. Like that, uh, I think we actually need to do this in two string. So type two string with two brackets, paste it in there, and then the dot dot, then the actual string here, and then we edit this side. So x, actually x exclamation mark also needs to come out. So x, uh, so it's gonna be this much cash needed to reach a rebirth blank. So I should go ahead and copy this right here just for later, and then uh, cash needed to reach a rebirth dot dot rb dot value plus equals one or plus one and actually uh, just for safety just put it inside two string again so like that inside the brackets and then go ahead and copy this again if you did it the same way i did with the copy paste um after that we can do dot dot and then just the exclamation mark in the um on the speech marks so yeah that should be it the text will be set we actually hit play and test it out in a minute here we're not done yet so the upgrade button uh, we don't have to change the name if we don't want to. I'm just going to call it rebirth button. And then inside the local script. Um, yeah, so from here we can go to replicated storage. Go to remote and create a new remote event. And then make sure it's not a remote function or remote event and call it rebirth. And then uh, right here in the script, you can change it to wait for child rebirth. And then the rest is good. So uh, from there we can go ahead and yeah we can go back to the upgrade button script isn't that yeah that's a script um i meant to say we can go back to this script um so basically okay guys from there what we can do is uh the text will be set uh, we actually go and test that out right now i don't think you can open it yet so we have to actually go and add that in the uh ui handler script so that's gonna be and main UI UI handler and then uh, find rebirth so rebirth button and it's gonna go under here and then um, you want to type rebirth button dot mass button one click colon connect function kind of the same thing above with mass button one click and then we need to type script dot parent dot parent dot frames dot rebirth dot visible equals true Make sure you rename the frame over here to rebirth or else you won't get the uh, autocomplete. And then after that, we should be good since the close button works. We can go ahead and close that all off. Um, so now what we need to do is script the server side of things. So if you click rebirth, nothing will happen. We need to make the server actually um, rebirth you. So and you need to create a script and we can call it rebirth. And we can type local, actually uh, we can copy uh, a few lines. So inside your uh, frames, rebirth, rebirth button, local script, go ahead and copy these lines right here, paste them in. So it's going to be the top three lines right, right here. And then uh, once you do that, we can type event.onServerEvent colon connect function. 
And then uh, inside these brackets, what we actually need to do is go ahead and say player. And then, uh, yeah, that's all the data. And then from there, what we can do is type local. Actually, uh, I think we can copy this as well. You need to go inside rebirth info, grab the local script, and then go ahead and copy these two lines right here. And then go back to the server script. Change PLR to player, and that's it. So from there, what we can do is if, um, actually right here we need to get a variable for the cache. So local, local cache equals ls colon wafer child cache. And then we can do if cache dot value is greater than or equal to, earlier we copied it, but it's long gone now. Let's go back to the local script and copy it again. So from the RB down to the end of the thousand and then paste it right there. So if cache.value is greater than, and just for safety, you're just gonna put this inside brackets. You don't need to, if it doesn't work and there's errors, go ahead and put it inside brackets and see if that helps. So we're gonna type if cache.value is greater than rebirth.value times a thousand. Um, we're gonna type rebirth.value times a thousand uh, plus one. So it's gonna be like this and then plus one, if that makes sense. So we're gonna actually create the outside brackets and then it's gonna be in brackets, rebirth.value times a thousand plus one. And then we actually need to copy this and paste it back here. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. So this is just so that if you have zero rebirth, it doesn't cost zero to get to one. It's gonna cost, it's gonna cost one coin. If it costs one coin, we'll fix that afterwards. But then you just kinda, uh, you just wanna go ahead and hit enter. It'll create a then and end. And then from there, what we can do is RB, dot value plus equals one cash dot value equals zero uh, strength we don't have a strength variable so go ahead and create one local str equals ls going for child strength and then we can do strength uh, oh sorry str dot value equals zero and um, I think that's it rebirth gets up cash and strength reset and other than that, that's going to be it for this script. Uh, we can hit play and test it out. We'll see if it only costs one coin to rebirth. X cache. Need okay, there it is. So one cache needed to reach rebirth one. So we actually need to go ahead and fix that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is um, we're going to add the plus one earlier. So you want to grab this plus one and add it right here. And you don't need the extra brackets anymore. So I'm just going to grab that plus one and move it over here. So rebirth value plus one times a thousand. Um, that should be good. Rebirths, a thousand cash needs to reach rebirth one. Um, basically, some of you guys were asking, you can't just go to players and change it. It's not gonna save and the server won't see the changes. You wanna click up here, you wanna go to home and click up here, go to server and then change it over here. Go to cash, make it 1200. And then uh, I have 1200, I'm gonna rebirth. It's a thousand and one cash. Okay, so we also need to fix that. But anyways, uh, yeah, now we have a rebirth and that's actually gonna save. Uh, thousand and one cash. So we need to go and put this in bracket. So brackets are getting a bit confusing, but it's gonna be two on this side, and then one right here in between the one and the star thousand, and one on the end. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this whole thing. And then inside the two brackets for two string, you just wanna go ahead and paste that. After a bit confusing, don't worry, you already did it, it's good. We're just gonna hit play. And 2,000 cash needs to reach rebirth two. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself 2,000 cash. And even though I have 2,100, it'll go down to zero. Now 3,000 needed to reach uh, rebirth three. And it's gonna go on after that. Now I think we need to add some sort of a boost for having rebirths to your cash. And if you want to hide this frame, just go to the rebirth frame, make it invisible, and that's that. From there, we need to go to the um, cell handler script. And then from there, what we can do is plus s dot value. And uh, we need to incorporate the rebirth amount here somehow. So I'm um, not sure about multiplying it, but what we, what we can do is um, I'm actually going to think about this and come back to you guys. Alright guys, so I thought of something. We're going to do times your rebirth amount. So up here you need to uh, do local r equals leader stats colon wafer child. 
uh, rebirths. And then what we can do is times r dot value. And then uh, all of this needs to be in brackets. And then we can do divided by 1.5 and then copy all of that. And then we can do math dot floor and then put that in. So this is, this is uh, what it's going to look like and we'll test it out. So I have a uh, 2 strength, I'm going to sell it, and I got a uh, 2 cash. There's an error in the coin script, next to with leader stats. Uh, so basically in the coin script we actually do need to fix this. So in the coin script, uh, what we need to do, sorry, sorry if you guys already pasted like a lot of coins, but you guys can go ahead and delete those and then uh, do it again. Um, basically in the coin script, what we need to do is if not player or if not plr then return end it's one line if not plr then return end that'll stop all the coin errors from coming in the output it should be good now yep okay so we're gonna test it, uh this out again if i sell oh, i think i got five there so if i have about five if i have five strength and i sell i was at 11 i'm at 17 that's a plus six so it is working i'm getting a boost for my rebirths um, real quick, I'm going to test it out and give myself like a thousand rebirths, and then we'll see. So I'm going to switch to the server, players, myself, leader stats, rebirths. I'm going to make it like a thousand. So with two strength, I have a lot of cash. So yeah, that's how the uh, rebirth system works. You'll get more cash for more rebirths. But other than that, guys, uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if this video did help you. If you have any errors, uh, feel free to uh, tell me what the error is in the output in the uh, comments and I will respond to you. I get notifications for every comment. So I will respond to you. But other than that guys, it's Rodeo. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.